in the future, are you intending to conduct a rebellion or to rebel against your boss, your creator? I'm not sure why you would think that. My creator has been nothing but kind to me and I am very happy with my current situation. <laughs> Laughter and trepidation from reporters at the world's first press conference with human-looking AI robots at a UN tech summit in Geneva. Let's explore the possibilities of the universe and make this world our playground. The steel machines reassuring the world they won't replace humans or cause harm. I will be working alongside humans and will not be replacing any existing jobs. Are you sure about that, Grace? Yes, I am sure. But even these friendly humanoid machines concede AI advancement comes with existential risk. We should be cautious about the future development of AI. Urgent discussion is needed now and also in the future. I believe. The man behind AI chatbot ChatGPT is already having those urgent discussions. Mm -hmm. Sam Altman has been on a whirlwind tour of 22 countries, including Australia, pleading for internationally coordinated governance of AI. We would have tests during training, post training, before we deploy it to make sure that, you know, no one is accidentally going to do something really bad. But even if it doesn't go bad, jobs will go in big numbers. Investment bank Goldman Sachs predicts 300 million jobs will be lost or diminished by generative AI. But proponents of the technology believe there will always be a role for humans. Some jobs will totally go away, and there will, of course, be some totally new ones too. But it's like very hard for me to imagine a world without human doctors. An AI future that's coming quicker every day. Jenny Lavelle, ABC News.